Hey everyone, welcome back to Paper Made Me Do It. I received two different orders in the mail today, fun fun, and they both contained some fountain pen ink. So I thought I would do some swatches for y'all and just let you see what some of these colors look like in case they're new to you. So the first order came from Pen Boutique, which I've never shopped with before, but their shipping was quick. And I also purchased a pen in that order. This is a Twisby Eco in the yellow. And from what I understand, this was a limited edition. And I have a few others I grabbed um, that are in that same family with the solid plastic cap and end cap. So I wanted to grab the yellow while it was still available. My Twisby Ecos have always been really good writers, very dependable pens. And I also picked up an ink in that order. And this is my first Sailor ink to purchase. It's from the Manio Manio ink collection. There are several in this collection that all represent, I believe, a different flower, maybe. But this one, uh, funny enough, is called Haha. <laughs> h-a-h-a -H -A. and the bottle is a beautiful glass bottle you can see it has that deep glass on the bottom similar to the pilot oroshizuku line and the label on the box is pretty well identical to the label on the actual bottle and it's pretty i'm going to cut that out to put in one of my journals but um, the kind of perfectionist tendency <laughs> that comes across sometimes in me was a little disappointed that the label on the actual bottle itself is crooked. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but it's like it was applied unevenly. So that's a little disappointing. Won't affect the ink, obviously, but I kind of laughed to myself and thought, okay, you had one job, right? <laughs> <laughs> but let's see what the haha -ha looks like and the reason why I was drawn to this ink I'm usually not drawn to blues over other colors but I saw a Goulet pins uh, live stream and it was mentioned there as being an awesome shader. So I love shading inks and thought I would give it a try. And it is very pretty. So that is what the Sailor Haha -ha ink looks like. I'll just do a quick writing sample with the glass dip pen here. Okay, so I actually really like it. It's uh, very different than the other blues that I own. The first bottled ink I ever purchased was the Pilot Suki Yo, and that is a pretty ink as well, but it's a very deep, dark blue. So it's kind of, this is a much lighter blue. I can see some shading coming across at the edges here already that looks very turquoise, but even though it's a light blue, it's easy to read. And those are the only two things I purchased from Pen Boutique. And then the rest of these inks came from Goulet Pens. The first one is the smaller bottle of Diamine Oxblood. We'll swab it out first.
So this is kind of a brick red, almost like a brownish red. And I love that Diamine offers their inks in a smaller bottle as well as a larger bottle. Even the larger bottles to me are very affordable relatively, but the smaller bottles in particular, I wanna say this was somewhere around $7. And when you consider that a sample is sometimes three or four, uh, I think that's a really good value to get that much ink for that price. The next one is Deatramentus Mahatma Gandhi. If I remember right, this was a really pretty yellow. And it is. Love that. That is so bright and happy. It reminds me of a sunflower. And I don't know if this is reflective of the ink or me, but it feels like just a wetter, like you can see how much thinner the diamine writing sample looks than this. And I feel like I dipped it, you know, in the same way. So I don't know if that's truly reflected in a dip pen or not, but it just feels like it would be possibly a much wetter ink to write with. It's gonna be so much fun to write with. I love the way that looks. And it did come in a box that has a picture of Gandhi on the side. The smaller diamond bottle just came in bubble wrap. It didn't have a separate cardboard box for packaging. Okay, and then this is an Urbane ink. Okay, to Anton. As usual, I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but I had received one of their samples in a previous order a long time ago of this ink, and I liked the sample so well that I decided to get a full bottle of it. It kind of reminds me of the sailor ink in the tone of it. It kind of feels like a smoky pastel. Just a lighter ink, but the sample was easy to read. So hopefully this will be as well. Yes. It is. Okay. Loving all of these. And then the last is another Urban. It's probably from that same collection. And I will just 
list all of these in the description below. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that because I think I would be way off if I did. This has that same feel, kind of light, almost pastel-like tone, but it's a little more of a light, kind of a brownish coral. Yes, I really like that as well. Uh, there may be a full bottle of this in my future, if I can find it still available. This was the outer packaging for this one. to swab a line of that. And on the sailor, it may already be dried up, but I forgot to layer it earlier. Okay. So those are the inks. And then the only other thing that I purchased from Goulet was one of their versions of a cleaning kit. So this is my first time to have their pen flush. I'm looking forward to that because I have several pens that actually need to be cleaned out right now. It came with the bulb syringe, which will make that process a lot faster. Um, they did include an empty five mil vial in that kit, as well as two of their blunt tip syringes. And of course, they always include a few little freebies in their packaging. The um, Tootsie Pop, a vinyl sticker, and that's a pretty fish. Is that a goldfish? And then a beautiful, not quite postcard size, but graphic here of some ink. So that completes both of those orders, and these are the samples. So. I hope y'all enjoyed watching, and I will see you soon.